So today we are going to start pickles. Um, I'm going to use a sweet pickle recipe from my grandma. It's right up here. Um, you can use about as many pickles as you want, but I'm going to use this huge cake pan to put my pickles in. And then I have a mandolin, and basically there's a V-shaped um, razor knife that allows you to cut every cucumber the same width. And so that is great for pickles. So I use the mandolin and when I get close to my fingers, I will plug in the safety um, so that I don't take part of my fingertip with the cucumber. And so you're gonna hold on to the side of the bowl along with the mandolin and you just go back and forth. So I have my cake pan filled with cucumbers, the ends I put it in my garbage bowl, and now I need to warm up water to pour over the top of this, so I'm going to fill up my kettle. So that is on, and now I'm going to add two cups of salt over the top of my pickles. For this recipe, you just use regular salt. You don't have to use the pickling salt. Um, and this recipe, it's a long process to pickle these sweet pickles. So you're just going to leave it on the counter. You're going to cover it with boiling water and then salt solution. And you're going to leave it for seven days. All right. There's my two cups, and then we're going to wait for the water to boil, and you'll just cover the pickles, and then put a lid on top. Alright, so my water is about to boil. And I'm just going to turn this down, I'm going to open the spout, and I'm going to gently pour this over my salt solution and my pickles, or the cucumbers. And the salt actually preserves the cucumber and will let it continue to be crunchy. And the salt will also shrink down the cucumbers. Alright, so I need another kettle of water because my pickles aren't quite covered. And while this is warming up, I'm just going to read through the recipe and as you can tell it's in my grandma's handwriting and so this is a recipe that's dear to my heart it's something that I remember my grandma making when my cousin and I were little um, it used to, this same exact container sat on her counter for days on end and she would make batches and batches of these pickles and so, um, doing this, I always take her a jar every year um, when I make them, and then we keep them in our canning cupboard, and when she runs out, she lets me know, and I take her another jar. But um, this is a family favorite of ours. So, 
you let these sit in the salt solution for seven days. On the eighth day, you drain and cover with boiling water. On the ninth day, you drain and add three tablespoons of alum and then cover with boiling water. On the tenth day, you drain off the alum water and cover with boiling water. On the eleventh day, you drain and then add a solution of vinegar, sugar, celery seed, and cinnamon bark. And then you drain that off into a stock pot and boil and pour over hot again for an additional four mornings. So five days of that. And then on the fifth day, you can them. And so it is a lengthy process. Um, none of the steps are hard. Um, and it, you can get them done very quickly. The first day, cutting the cucumbers, it takes a few minutes. And then the first day of the solution of adding all the ingredients and getting it to a boil. But then after that, you just simply pour it over a stock pot and boil it, pour it back on, pour it in the stock pot, boil it till the next day. So we're just gonna wait for our water to boil to finish covering our cucumbers. And then we'll put the lid on it and we won't mess with it again for seven days. So on the eighth day, we'll come back to this. All right, our water is boiling. So we're gonna pour the rest over and you just want enough to cover your cucumbers. So that is covered. And then you're just gonna gently put the lid on. And something I like to do, just because this is gonna be worked again in eight days, I like to put the day of the week that I need to put on here. So today is Monday, so I won't mess with my pickles again until next Tuesday. So I just put that on the top of the jar so that it reminds myself of when I need to mess with them next, especially in the seven day um, where it's not every day, every morning.